Well, these guys at Citizen Pie say they've dealt with more than a dozen outages over the last year, costing them thousands of dollars worth of food lost. They're hoping these new software updates keep dough both in their wallets and with their customers. Lights out. Everyone just stood and walked away. Citizen Pie co-owner Beatrice Sasnowskis remembers his outage vividly. The shop lost about $3,000 worth of food supplies last Labor Day. Sometimes we get deliveries and we get like 2,000 pounds of cheese in at one time. The shop has two locations, but all of their cheese is kept right here in Ohio City. So we lost almost about like a week and a half's worth of cheese. Cheese is pretty important for pizza. Those Labor Day outages happened after higher than normal AC usage, overworking the system and causing malfunctions. And that wasn't the only power problem they endured. You lose product, uh, you have to pay employees on the floor again to restock everything. They say 12 outages in a year cost them close to $10,000 in losses. Instead of spinning pies, they were spinning their open sign, trying to make up for lost time. You don't know for sure if it's going to happen or it's not going to happen, which is pretty stressful. In hopes of preventing these kinds of outages, Cleveland City Council approved $250,000 worth of improvements to be spent over the next two years. That money is meant to buy software, allowing CPP to look at outages in real time, including transformers that might be on the brink of failing. The hope is that these updates will keep the lights on for shops like Citizen Pie, reducing outage times and helping prevent the problems from ever happening again. Knocking on the wood. Looking into the new year, Citizen Pie hopes it's the secret sauce that'll keep the lights on all winter long. Just gotta be hopeful. And if not, keep complaining until it fixes. Now I spoke with CPP earlier today and they say don't expect these changes to go into effect just yet, but sometime next year. In Ohio City, Taylor DeHaze, News 5.